So I know people think of me as stirring the pot, but um, I'm just trying to create change also for the next generation or get the conversation going. And so for being outspoken like that, I was punished. Montreal burlesque performer Tristan Ginger says he's losing work over pointing out racism in Montreal's gay village. Tristan says he was dropped from a Just for Laughs variety show because he's been critical about white drag queens at Cabaret Meadow dressing up as other races on stage. He says it's time for the drag house to get with the times. This type of thing would not fly, for example, in Toronto, New York, um, Vancouver, etc. Like, and, but for some reason, this conversation is so hard to have and they feel, well, you know, because maybe I'm a queer person, I'm a, a gay guy, perhaps I've been oppressed too. So that gives me the right to kind of go on and, and kind of overtake other cultures. Some of the acts in question include a white drag queen in yellow face performing a geisha number or several white queens in bindis performing a Jai Ho dance choreography. He talked about it online and this week his online activism caught up with him. A Just for Last programmer, Pierre Poirier, had seen Tristan perform in Montreal and hired him to participate in a variety show this July during Just for Laughs. But not long after, he was fired from the gig with this email. It reads, there are changes to the show and unfortunately we will not be able to welcome you this summer. By the way, I wrote you this show is hosted by Mado and recently you tweeted strange comments about his place and the drags of Montreal. It is strange indeed. So that's paid work for me. So for me, I'm out of paid work and something I was really looking forward to. All for being outspoken or uh, trying to raise more awareness or just get people thinking. Tristan says there's still an unaddressed racism problem in Montreal's village and Maddoz could help open it up by embracing diversity. Diversify more, check the numbers that are going on your stage. Um, could this be offensive to somebody? You know, and there's always good ways to offend. I offend people maybe just by stripping, you know, as a femme, gender, queer person. Hey, this is my body. I'm stripping on stage. So there's, you know, ways you can still shock and, you know, shock people, but you don't have to resort to appropriating other people's cultures to do so or to be creative. We reached out with several calls and emails to both Maddoz and Just for Laughs. They did not respond to our requests for interview. In Montreal, Emily Campbell, City News.